Hey, what's up, YouTube? Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Today, we're going to be getting into some double standards. Now, Shakur Stevenson, he becomes three division champion, and his opponent lands the fewest punches in CompuBox history with 40 punches. Many Shakur Stevenson detractors, they have a lot to say. Do they give Shakur Stevenson his flowers? You better believe they don't. They say things like, this was the worst match in history. Shakur Stevenson is a boring fighter. The list goes on and on, etc., etc. Now there is, happens to be a lot of double standards with these same fans. Some of these are the same people who believes Francis Ngannou, who got the L, actually deserves to have that reversed. They believe he did enough to win that match. Well, let's take a look at some of these uh, stats on these on these matches here to compare them. You have Francis Ngannou. He landed less punches than Shakur Stevenson. 59. Okay. So Shakur threw more punches and landed more punches than um, Francis Ngannou. He did so at a higher connect percentage, at 31%. So not only did he land more punches than Francis Ngannou, and also Edwin De Los Santos, who only landed 40 punches, but he did so at a better percentage than both. Edwin's being the worst out of anybody's because Shakur Stevenson made him miss so much. I mean, some of these contradictions are ridiculous. Then you got, let's see, you got people saying how great Devin Haney's defense is compared to Shakur Stevenson. Okay, so let's take a look at their last match. Each of their last match. Let's look at the stats on those. Compare them. So Devin Haney, he gets hit with 124 punches. Shakur Stevenson, he only gets hit with 40 punches. That's three times less. So in their last match, Shakur Stevenson got hit with three times less punches than Devin Haney did in his last match. So who got the better defense? So let's see. Maybe Devin Haney had better connect percentage. Maybe he was more accurate. Let's check that. No. Devin Haney only has 27.2% to Shakur Stevenson's 31.1%. So, as you can see, Shakur Stevenson, he holds his opponent to the lowest punches landed in CompuBox history. It's no coincidence that he happens to have the best defense in all of boxing. So, he becomes three-division champion faster than Floyd Mayweather, faster than Pinnell Whitaker. The list goes on and on. And the detractors go wild. They say, these are some of the same guys who also said Edwin De Los Santos was going to win this match. Many people said, Mr. Lightning, this is going to be a close match. Edwin De Los Santos, you know, 
he does this, he does that, he has power, he closes the distance, Mr. Lightning. Okay. They have a lot to say about Shakur for the performance, but what about these guys who said Edwin De Los Santos was going to knock Shakur Stevenson out? Where are all they? They're all missing in action. They're all silent. Because their guy landed the fewest punches in CompuBox history. And they're trying to pass the buck to Shakur Stevenson for becoming three-division champion. And also putting on the best defensive display in over 38 years. I mean, the reason for this harsh criticism of Shakur Stevenson, there's only one reason for it. It's because they're jealous of Shakur Stevenson's skills. This guy, he's a generational talent. Everyone knows about it. The promoters, the fans, the fighters. They're critiquing every little thing this guy does because they have to criticize him in this win because he's not going to have a loss. So they need to strike while the iron is hot. Kick Shakur Stevenson while he's down, if you will. And I don't know how they can consider this being down when Shakur Stevenson won the match. He dominated the entire match. He won most of the rounds. He outlanded his opponent, which Devin Haney didn't do, by the way. Devin Haney got hit 124 times and failed to outland his opponent. Shakur Stevenson only got hit 40 times, and he did outland his opponent. Now, in retrospect, Francis Ngannou, he didn't outland Tyson Fury. Now, do you see these contradictions? They're giving Shakur Stevenson a hard time for this, sticking up for these other dudes who Francis Ngannou landed less punches than Shakur. They're, they're screaming he should have won. And he did all this and he did all that, landed less punches than Shakur Stevenson did. And then you got, you know, the people saying Devin Haney uh, kicked Lomachenko's butt and he failed to outland Lomachenko and absorbed 20, 124 punches 95 of which were power punches, which is, that's a decent amount of power punches. And we've seen where they were landing. It was, they had Devin Haney's head flying all around the ring. So the question is, when will the cap end for these Shakur Stevenson detractors? And when will they realize that Shakur Stevenson He's a generational talent. He got the skills to pay the bills. Complaining about it is not going to get your favorite fighter a victory against him. And not much will. Because the fact of the matter is, the reason why most of the Shakur Stevenson detractors, why they're mad to begin with, is because... They know that Shakur Stevenson will defeat their favorite fighter. Now, what do y'all think about this? Drop a comment below, whether you agree, whether you disagree. Smash the like button and smash the subscribe button.